hello everybody this is just a little quick cold weather treat I finally able to make chili I wanted to make it in September it got way too warm again but now it seems we're gonna stay 60s and below so I will show you the ingredients to my chili and most of these items have come from Aldi's. Aldi's is definitely a one-stop shop to all your chili needs. So I use three of the Dakota Pride, Dakota's Pride mild chili beans. These already come in the chili sauce. Then I use a can of black beans. Two cans of Great Northern. Or you can use navy beans. I like to put a white bean in there to give it some variation then I put in a large butter bean Then we have three cans of Dakota's Pride light red kidney beans you can also use the dark red kidney beans all these cells delight a 46 ounce can of tomato juice and then I have some stewed tomatoes. These are Mexican recipe. These are what I have usually. If I've canned any tomatoes, I'll use those. I don't mind the, uh, you know, the ones you buy in the grocery store because those are nice. They simmer a while. So those are the cans that go in there. This, this is four, but I start with two and then work my way to see if I need more to add more liquid. Once you mix up the chili in your stovetop pot or your crock pot, I usually use the crock pot. And then for meat, it's ground turkey. Get this from Aldi's, it's under $2 for a pound of good turkey. And while the turkey is cooking, I put in an onion and then minced garlic. This one is a great value brand from Walmart but the dollar store also sells them you'd get a better deal on them at the dollar store and then while the meat is sauteing you add the garlic and the onions and then I put in some Worcestershire sauce this one is Leanne Perrin's I've used French's I'm not picky about the Worcestershire sauce and then I add in some chili powder this is from Gordon's it's a huge container it's 14 ounces I'm sorry 16 ounces so you get a pound of seasoning and I add that in while the turkey is cooking because the turkey absorbs all those flavors like if you use chicken the same principles apply because it is a bland bird and then I add ground cumin this one came from Walmart and then after I've mixed it all up I will add in a few dashes of Frank's Red Hot hot sauce you can use your type of hot sauce you can use all your own type of ingredients and then I mix them all in a crock pot all right and this is what the chili looks like all mixed together with just the beans the tomatoes the juice I ha the meats cooking right now and I do want to note that you should drain and rinse your beans except for the ones that are in the chili sauce because you want the chili sauce in your chili and then you just add your if you are meatless or doing a meatless recipe or you're vegan or whatever Put the cumin and chili powder in and let it simmer for hours and you'll be good to go. You can put it on high for four hours, low eight. All right, and then I'll be back to show you the meat. All right, and this is the turkey meat. It's cooking up, it's a little pink. There you go, maybe you can see better here without all the steam. But I added diced onion 
I mean, it was finely diced because that's how I roll. The minced garlic, some cumin and chili powder. Like I said, it will absorb the flavor really well. Then I will add this and see there's very little grease in the turkey meat. It has, I want to say it was 15%, so it was 85% protein or lean meat and 15% fat, but that fat just helps it from sticking to the bottom of the pan because you can cook that out. This is almost ready to go into the chili. All right, so the turkey meat was added to the top and then you mix it up. Throw in a little cumin. You can add as much or as little as you want. The cumin will just give it a nice little smoky flavor. And then we'll add a little chili powder. Mix that all up. All right. I will grab a clean spoon. I know it's missing something. Let's grab a new spoon. Mm. Not bad. I think a little chili powder. A little. But you have to remember this is a huge crock pot full and you can also do this on your stove top but you would definitely pay attention to your beans you definitely do the three chili and the three kidney beans and you put in your two cans of tomatoes or if you use one of those big 28 ounce ones or if you can your own and you have a quart and then you would add in maybe a can or two of you know, you do a black bean if you like black beans. If you don't, you could add red beans. Sometimes red beans are really, um, they're really firm beans, so they take a while. So that would definitely be a simmer for a while. Or maybe if you cook the beans a little bit. All right. grab another spoon always use a clean spoon when tasting all right what is going on Ooh, nope there went the heat there went the heat all right y'all I have hit my point now if your chili does not have enough juice 
you can add in water but you would have to add seasoning I like to add in chicken broth chicken stock because it is a little flavored but this is my chili I hope you guys enjoyed and the recipe will be in the description below I hope you guys have a great day all right I want you guys I want to thank you guys for viewing if you enjoy it please hit that thumbs up maybe I can show you some other recipes sometime if you haven't subscribed please do I would love to have you and if you have already subscribed thank you very much I want you guys to be safe be well peace